Hello everybody. Today we're going to go over the basics of how to create a pivot table using Google Sheets. Let's jump right in. You want to open up a browser such as Safari or Google Chrome. Then go to your Google page and make sure you're signed in to your Google account. Then we can go to your drive or you can go to more and find Google Sheets on this page here. It's right here. We're going to go ahead and use our drive. So we're going to open up our drive. And to create a new spreadsheet, you can go to New, Google Sheets, and this will create a new empty blank spreadsheet. We already have our data prepared. So let's go back to our drive. We're going to open up this pivot tables spreadsheet. And here we have our data. This data is completely made up. But here we have our sales territory, our year, our items sold, our revenue, expenses, and profit. Okay, so to create a pivot table using this data. We'll go ahead and select the data. Make sure you have it all selected. Make sure there's no spaces or extra columns or anything like that. And make sure that each data element is in a vertical column like this. Okay. Then we can go to the data and choose pivot table. This will create an empty pivot table for you. And now you're ready to Begin to create your pivot table. Okay, now let's begin to build our pivot table. And one of the best things about a pivot table is it allows you to take a large data set and play around with that data in a way that will allow you to quickly summarize the data and answer questions about the data. So let's go to our rows here first. Click on the Add field. And let's try to put in our sales territory, OK? And the reason we put the sales territory here is because if you put it along the top and it goes off the screen, it becomes harder to read. So let's kind of let's show you an example of that. So if we put the sales territory here, you can see that you kind of have to scroll over. And we want our data summarized in a way that it's easy to read. So let's, let's go back and put it here. And now for the columns field here, let's click on our add field and try and put in the year and see what that looks like. OK, so, so far that looks fine. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to put in your data values in here. So let's go to our values field and let's start off with profit. Okay, so now we have a table here. We have our sales territories over here on the left and we have our years over here on the top going across. And this so far is not a bad summarization of the data. Now if we go back to our, our table of data here, this is actually a fairly small table of data compared to what you might be working with. And you can see the power of being able to select all your data and then quickly put it into a, a summary table like this. And so let's say you had the question, what are the top three producing sales territories? Okay, so one thing you might do is go over here to your grand total and you wanna do a sort in descending order to quickly see those top three. So in order to do that, let's try, let's do this sort by. Let's try to put in sum of profit in the grand total, okay? Actually, we wanna do that descending so we can see the top producers or the top sales territories first. And you can see that the top three are the US, China, and Japan. 
Okay, so that answers one question. Then you just you start asking other questions and you manipulate this summary of the data in pivot table form until you get the answer you want. And soon you'll be able to take very large data sets, say thousands or hundreds of thousands of rows and summarize that data to help you answer questions and get meaningful information out of those large data sets. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. We just covered the basics. We'll be doing more pivot table tutorials here in the near future. Be sure to join us for those, and we'll see you next time.